Frontier streamed their regular Tuesday Super Cruise news show yesterday, the first livestream since the company had promised to reassess how it handles communication with its elite dangerous community. So was there any change? Yes there was actually. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe, click the little bell icon and remember to select all notifications and to further help support the work of this channel you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. In his forum post on Friday evening Elite's lead community manager Arthur Tolmy commented that the company had taken on board the community feedback on Frontiers communications and that the community team will be working on plans and initiatives to improve how they communicate around all things Elite going forward. The news was generally cautiously welcomed but understandably the proof of the pudding is in the eating and this weeks Super Cruise News livestream was the first opportunity for the community team to move forward with their promise of greater transparency and it was clear from Arthur's responses to the questions being machine gunned at him and Zach that there are definitely steps being made in the right direction with some long term community questions just getting a straightforward yes or no answer. More on those in a moment. Arthur began by adding some more detail to what we know about the proposed patches that are planned to arrive over the next 3 Thursdays and whilst the next patch will include incremental performance optimizations, if all goes to plan next Thursdays patch that's the 17th of June should include much bigger performance updates. So if you are still one of the commanders struggling with frame rates in Odyssey then be sure to look out for that. Going forward Arthur also promised that he's arranging for a monthly development focused stream which will feature members of the development team to talk about their work and things like optimization, how the console launch of Odyssey is coming along as well as extra features that will be added to Odyssey. The team then showed some work in progress screenshots of the commander loadout UI flow changes that are planned to enter the game in the patch this week. Continuing Arthur did state at the start of the stream that he would always rather give the community an answer to a question that it didn't like rather than no answer at all and true to his word the first of those answers came early on. To a question regarding ship interiors Arthur simply answered that there are no plans for ship interiors right now. That is something we've heard from Frontier already however Arthur was also asked about crossplay between consoles and PCs and answered simply and unambiguously that there are no plans for crossplay. Not an answer the community would necessarily like but it is an answer. He also commented that the game is too dark right now. This is something that has been heard right across the community from many players and they are apparently working on a fix that they hope will be in the game in the next couple of weeks. He continued that the state of planetary terrain was being looked into and made it clear that graphical errors and bugs would be addressed there first and then they would look at other multiple issues with regard to planetary surfaces and how they are displaying in the game currently. When asked whether ship module storage space would be increased Arthur stated that it's something he's keen to see and is in fact pushing for it. He further continued that a Vista Genomics module for fleet carriers is also being discussed which would undoubtedly be a huge and much needed bonus for Elite's many explorers. He also added that the amount of materials needed for Odyssey engineering and upgrading is not fixed in stone and is being looked into. And zero G spacewalks are not currently planned. Again, not an answer the community would like, but at least we now know. On the subject of VR and VR support, Arthur has promised some answers on the return of that much requested feature next week. As soon as we know anything, we'll of course bring it to you here. And regarding the current ongoing narrative, we are apparently entering Act 2 of a total of 6 acts. You can expect the storyline to move forward again very very soon and at the end of it all something is going to happen. It's all leading somewhere and that is across all platforms. So make of that what you will. So there we are. Pudding eaten. Is it a genuine step in the right direction? 
Arthur was asked direct questions and he gave direct answers even when those answers were uncomfortable. I do think Frontier have finally heard the calls for more transparency but it's early days. This is likely to be a long journey and without wanting to be too analogous Frontier has a big mountain of their own making to climb and the community still needs to be convinced that they're up to the challenge. So watch this space or mountain or space mountain. Reckon they can do it? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.